Artistic RenderWorks is a rendering mode that provides a hand-drawn artistic look to renderings. It comes with several styles that are available, and almost all of them allow for some degree of customizing by the user. So let's take a look and see how this works. Uh, this is exercise seven, the file for our chapter. And uh, we're looking at a right isometric view of a number of objects in the scene. And now we'll go to View, Rendering, Artistic Renderworks. And uh, right away we see the default Artistic Renderworks style being displayed. Now Artistic Renderworks comes with a number of different styles. So let's take a look at what those styles are and how to apply them. We'll go back to View, Rendering, Artistic Renderworks options. And the Artistic Renderworks Options dialog box opens, and here we can see next to the word style, there's a drop down box, and we can select a number of different Artistic Renderworks styles. Right now we're seeing the one called Cartoon, but as we go through the different ones, you will see in the preview window up above a representation of a hypothetical project and the impact of that style on that project. You can go down and try all the different ones and see the impact of each one of those. And notice that for each style down below in this area of the dialog box, there are some customization options. So for example, if we go back to Cartoon, the one we started with, we can change the edge thickness in pixels to one. We can change the edge color to, let's say, red can see a little preview up there, and then when we click OK, you see that the rendering now displays our new settings. We can use artistic render works in viewports also. One nice feature of rendering in viewports is that you have the possibility of selecting two different rendering styles, one superimposed on the other. We'll try that right now. Here we have the viewport that is ready part of this exercise file on sheet layer rendering one. And the viewport is selected so we can see some of the features and controls for this viewport in the object info palette. If we look at the lower half of the object info palette, we can see in this area here in the lower third, the area where we can control the rendering settings. So first we'll go to the background render. And you see in the drop-down box, the default selection is wireframe, which is what we're seeing right now. And so let's click on that drop-down box next to background render and select artistic render works. And now let's choose an artistic render works style that we'll use here. So we'll click on the background render settings button and the Artistic Render Works Options dialog box opens up. And you see the default in this case is Cartoon, but let's click on the Style drop-down box right under the preview window and select, let's say, Brush Chinese. And we can see that right underneath the Style drop-down box area, there is an area here where we can adjust some controls such as edge thickness and pixels, and this is an area where many of the controls appear for some of the other styles as well. So in this case, we'll select the edge thickness and change it to 25. You can see in the preview right away. And with the edge color, let's select a different edge color, a little lighter gray, and we'll click OK. Let's see what this looks like here. We'll click the Update button in the Object Info palette, and we can see the Chinese brush effect. Now we'll superimpose on this a hidden line rendering mode, and so we can go down here to the foreground render and click on the foreground render drop-down box. Currently there is the none style selected, no style. When we click on it, we see we can select hidden line and let's update that so we can see what that looks like. And we can now adjust the hidden line settings by going to the foreground render settings button. 
and the hidden line render settings dialog box opens up and in this case let's select sketch hidden line results we saw this in the previous chapter and let's select one that will become a little bit more evident so let's say rough and click OK and you can see the striped outline for the viewport that suggests it needs to be updated so we'll go back to the object info palette click the update button and now we can see the effects of both these rendering settings.